The name of this video is Blender 3D 2.62 Spin Tool Tutorial. The spin tool extrudes a profile, a two-dimensional outline, using the 3D cursor as its pivot point in a variable number of steps. The spin tool works in edit mode. It's a very versatile tool for modeling things like wine glasses, bottles, mugs, vases, and donut or cylindrical type objects. Any object where the profile doesn't change around a particular axis, which is the axis on which the profile is spun. Sometimes the spin tool is referred to as the lathe tool, since the action of the spin tool resembles an actual lathe on which you need an axis to spin. It's important to spin paying close attention to the view you're in, as well as to make sure of the position of the 3D cursor. By default, the spin tool's axis is perpendicular to the 3D viewport. To illustrate the spin tool, I'll spin a circle into a donut type shape. I'll delete the default cube and go to top view, numpad 7, and plus numpad 5 to go into orthographic view. I'll add a circle mesh and get rid of the translate manipulator, which just gets in the way, and go to front view, numpad 1. I'll rotate the circle around the x-axis, and I'll tab into edit mode, select all the vertices, and the circle profile is complete. Now it's time to spin it. I'll go into top view, numpad 7, and place the 3D cursor to the right of the circle object. Although the object looks like a line, it's actually a circle on its side. We're just looking down on it. The 3D cursor is the pivot point around which the profile is spun. The axis to spin, in this case the z-axis, is perpendicular to the view. The spin tool spins the pattern around the z-axis. I'll click the spin button. By default, the spin is 90 degrees in 9 steps. We can increase or decrease the number of degrees. If the degrees are 360, it's a full spin. We can also increase or decrease the number of steps to control the smoothness of the resulting object. 32 is a good value for steps. For a 360 degree spin, the last spun vertex set is at the same location as the first set of vertices. That creates a hole in the mesh. And to remove it and create a closed surface, select all the vertices, pressing the A key twice, press Control V for the vertex menu, and select Remove Doubles. Now we've spun a donut type object similar to a torus. You should also select the vertices and press Control N to align the normals to the outside, which will remove any lighting artifacts. To give you some more insight into the innards of the spin tool, I'll create a new file delete the default cube and go into front orthographic view. I'll add a plane and tab into edit mode. Then I'll click the spin button in the tool shelf. I'll rotate the result to give it a 3D look. Note how the plane is spun 90 degrees along the Y axis. I'll press Control Z to undo the spin and return to front view. I'll position the 3D cursor at the origin and press the spin button. This time I'll check the dupli checkbox. I'll rotate the view. Note the result. Eight copies of the plane rotated along the y-axis 90 degrees. The spin tool can be used, something like the array modifier, to produce multiple copies of an object with rotation applied. In dimensional mode, I'll change the y and z axes values from the tool shelf operator options to illustrate how you can use the spin tool to rotate the objects along any of the axes, even combining them into interesting shapes. Finally, I'll model a Coca-Cola bottle with the spin tool. I'll use a reference Im image of a Coke bottle from the Coca-Cola website. I'll create a new file, delete the default cube, and press the N key in the 3D viewport. I'll scroll down to the background image and check it. And, and click Add Image. You can make the bottle the image for all or only some of the views. I'll set it to front view because that's where we'll create the profile of the bottle. Make sure we're in orthographic mode. The background image won't display in perspective mode. Press numpad 5 if you're in perspective mode to go to orthographic mode. I'll go to front orthographic view and add a plane. I'll rotate the view for dimensionality and delete all the vertices except one. I'll go to front view. I'll press the G key and move the vertex to the bottom center of the bottle image and place the 3D cursor at the origin by hitting Shift S I'll press Alt left click or the E key to add. You can think of it as extruding a vertex, hence the letter E. 
I'll follow the outline up to the top of the Coke bottle on the left, adding vertices as necessary. For a closed bottle or vase at the bottom, place the 3D cursor at the base of the profile. I'll add vertices along the negative X and positive Z axes in front view and proceed to the side up until half of the profile is completed. The other half will be spun. If you want the mesh open at the top, don't cross the X axis and make sure the last vertex has a negative X value. If you want the top closed, make the last vertex position as close to the center of the image as possible. We're modeling the left half of the bottle. I'll pause the video until the outline is done. After the profile is spun, the other half will be created. Select the bottommost vertex. Press Shift S and select Cursor to Selection. Go to the top view. Press the A key twice to select all the vertices. Press the Spin button. Make the number of degrees 360 to spin the profile one full rotation. Press the A key twice to select the vertices. Press the W key, select Remove Doubles. If there are artifacts in the renders, select all the vertices and press Control N to make the normals consistent. If the bottom is hollow, select the edge loop at the bottom by pressing Alt right click. Scale the edge loop in until the vertices are close to touching. To close the bottom, press the W key select merge and then at center creating a merge vertex at the center. The bottle is ready for adding materials, textures, and rendering. As I hope you can see there are many uses for the spin tool. If you look around you you should see many objects that could be modeled, say a lampshade or a dome stadium with the spin tool. I hope this stimulates your creativity. Happy blendering!